Well, hello, 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 and welcome back. So today I have just a small Dollar Tree haul for you on stocking up my pantry. So I've been doing some pantry stockpile videos and um, I was at the Dollar Tree, saw some goodies, and I thought, you know what? Practice what you preach and pick up a few items to replenish things that you've used and to also just have some other things in your stockpile for future use. But I have to tell you, walking in the door, we found a shiny penny. Can you see that? What's a penny, right? When I was a kid, I have to admit, when I was a kid, they annoyed me. My mom would give me change, you know, and pocket change, and I hated pennies. I didn't like the color. They weren't worth anything to me, and I would throw them in the garbage. And my mother, I had a little garbage can in my room, and my mother would dig through my garbage and say, stop throwing this away. This is money. I'm like, it's a penny. It's not money. And I was, you know, like five, six years old. I was little at the time. And she would yell at me every time, and I'd, every time I'd throw them in the garbage, I hated pennies. Well, I'll tell you. What is the saying, a penny for your thoughts? Or a penny saved is a penny earned? But in my case for many years, it was like, I don't want your two cents. I didn't want your opinion. But I learned to cherish these pennies. One day when my husband and I, we were so broke, back in the day when we were early on married, broker than broke, and we had to make a car payment before they towed the car away. And we were scrounging. We were looking for every bit of money and bottle, that, a jar that had coins. And we found a bunch of pennies. And I still remember this. We rolled pennies in those little paper wrappers. And we used pennies to help pay off our car payment. I mean, every dollar coin that we could find went into it. I never looked back on this penny um, as being worthless. So with that being said, Take a hundred of these pennies and you go to the Dollar Tree and you can buy something for your stockpile. So if some of you are broke and you say, I have no money, take that pocket change that you get, you know, when you do something and put it in a jar, save your pennies and you can go to the Dollar Tree and get some good stuff for your stockpile. So let me show you some of the things that I got. Um, okay, so what do we have here? let me let me just get this organized and we'll be right back okay so i have five bags of goodies for you so what i picked up these are really good it's hanover brand it is one pound four ounces 20 ounces sugar, brown sugar baked beans they're really good some of the baked beans sometimes you buy at the dollar dollar type stores are kind of eh, not so good these are delicious so if you want a good can of baked beans this is one uh, somebody asked me to do some more recipes on frugal cheap meals and one thing that we grew up on is baked beans on toast so this is something good make baked bean soup out of it you can make just a side dish of baked beans um, there's tons of recipes that this is good for so I got two cans of baked beans that would be for the stockpile they had a one pound 4.5 ounce can of refried beans they had a, I don't know what size that would be, the really big cans of the refried beans, really big can. And I was tempted, but I don't know that pictures really tell you much, but the picture on it looked kind of, ooh. So I didn't get it. I opted for this brand. Uh, I haven't tried it before. I got two of them to try. This is more than enough for our family. This is probably three servings that we would use like on tortillas or something like that. So I put the rest in a small freezer bag. You lay it flat and you freeze it that way so you can use it like a filing system with the Ziploc bags. And I actually have a, um, a cube I got on Amazon that has little drawers that you can put your soups and things like that on and you can dry them or freeze them in the freezer nice and flat and then you can store them that way. So that's what I would do if I opened this up with the extra. But anyway, I got two cans of re whoop, refried beans. So that will be great. And then what else did we get for the stockpile? I got four cans of tuna fish. I am a tuna fish snob. Only Bumblebee or Starkist. I don't like the off brands. I know some of you can get the off brands for like 59 cents and I don't like them. I think they're too fishy. I don't like the taste. But I do like the Starkist Chunk Light. 
So um, my mom will only get albacore. I like the chunk light. But anyway, I got four cans. What's the expiration date? Let's see. Because so we were talking about stockpiling and use it 2024. So I got four cans, 2024. I have no worries. Okay, four cans there. Our refried beans expiration date is, let's see, 2021. So October, we're good on that. And our baked beans are 2022. So if you didn't um, see my pantry video, my tour of that, I will link that below and I'll explain how I mark these for the dates. And um, also I'll link below my videos on stockpiling, why we do it, how to do it, how to do it on a budget, how to do it in a cheap way. So stockpiling. Also, don't forget your essentials that you need, such as shampoo and conditioner. You know, sometimes <clears throat> when the budget's tight, you don't have extra. You, you need food, you buy food, but then what do you do when you need shampoo? So Dollar Tree has VO5. It's a good shampoo. I don't know if you've ever used it, um, but I got the extra body shampoo and conditioner to put in the stockpile. All right, what else did we get? My son likes, he's in a new phase of, he's a teenager learning how to use, do hygiene well, and we're going through mouthwash like crazy. But I'd rather him use mouthwash and toothpaste than not, if you know what I mean, including deodorant. Teenagers are kind of up and down whether they do take a shower or don't. So if he's willing, I go for it. But close up tooth, um, Mouthwash, they have it at the Dollar Tree. They have other brands as well. I picked this one up just to have on, in the stash as an extra. So this one came with five in the pack and my husband and I ate two on the way home. So it would have been wider. They're just pretzels and that like cheese whiz. But these are great for a dollar. You get five of them. I like to take this to work to have a little extra snack, something like that. But that's good for the stockpile for a snack. And then for me, I like V8 juice, so I picked up two cans. They are the large cans. I know at the grocery store you get the little ones. I like the large ones. These are great for me. Middle of the afternoon, middle of the morning, I need a little pick-me-up at work. This is good. Um, sometimes I just take this and cheese and crackers for lunch. So there's an idea for a cheap and frugal meal. Can of V8, cheese and crackers, you're good to go. And the last thing that I picked up, this is my favorite, Palm Olive Oxy. I like this better than the Dawn. And I find this one is a hard one to find. It, yes, it's a little one. You could probably do better in the grocery stores. But for a dollar, I picked it up. It's going in the stockpile. This is great if you have stains on your clothes. You can sprinkle a little of this on there. Give it a little scrub. It works like Dawn. Um, but I like it better than Dawn. So. We got a few goodies for our stockpile, some baked beans, some refried beans. We got some shampoo and some conditioner and some mouthwash. We got some cans of tuna. We got some little snacks. Listen, get what you can while you can. Just stock up, start filling up that stockpile. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Save your pennies, just like this one here. This is going in our coin jar. Save your pennies. You get a hundred of these, you can buy one can of tuna fish. You can have one can of tuna fish and that can feed a family of five in one meal. And I have some recipes up and coming on how to stretch one can of tuna to feed a family. I did have a recipe called Tuna Romanoff. So I'll link that below. I already did that video. It was a can of tuna from the Dollar Tree. It was a package of egg noodles from the Dollar Tree. It was delicious. I loved it. You could also replace it with a can of chicken. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one.